Hey everybody, welcome to Toy of the Day here on casterscorner.com. I am your host Khalil here for another Toy of the Day. Um, you can follow us, we are at Casters Corner on all social media. Uh, you can check out the podcast. Uh, we're actually taking a week off this week. Um, so uh, you can listen to Brad the DCU Geek, um, who we published during last week. Um, and we'll be back with our normal episodes every Monday night. Uh, starting with Jesse and DJ, and we're working on scheduling out the rest of August, and honestly, just need a break. I think I think I went an entire year without missing any kind of episodes, and so uh, I took a week off. What can I say? Um, I hope you enjoyed all the beginnings videos. It was a blast for me to remember all those times growing up. Um, I know some people weren't happy with all the stories, but um, I really enjoy living, reliving the memories and thinking about them and remembering all the names of everything. And <clears throat> it was really just fun to do. Um, so you're here for the toy of the day. So, uh, oh, don't forget to check out our shirts. Um, the bags are really nice too. The cups are nice. T Public did a great job with all the merchandise. So, and we'll be adding more designs coming up so hopefully something will strike your fancy and you'd like to check one of those out um thank you for all of those that ordered we really appreciate all the support um so i have an entire box of toys here okay um from thanos to harley quinn to dinosaurs to fortnite um and really was struggling to try to figure out what i want to do i kind of want to spend time in the infinity saga and hopefully by next week i will have most of them in hand. Um, I've got some Suicide Squad figures, and I kind of want to see the movie this weekend before I review the figures, so I have a little more to talk about. Um, so I was kind of trying to figure out what to do for tonight, and tonight's review um, literally came in this afternoon. Um, I haven't even had the chance to really look at him before. I opened him up through my table, and this is really the first time I'm kind of playing with him. So we're going to take a look at the McFarland toys. DC Multiverse uh, Injustice version of Dr. Fate. Um, I first fell in love with Dr. Fate right here with the Superpowers figure. And you can go back and watch our Superpowers episode from last week in our beginning series. Um, his his uh, spring doesn't work as well as it used to, but he had the spell casting hands. Um, they try to go up. They just they just can't. Um, I could feel it. Like the, the it's They're just not turning the same way they used to um i can all like there's no click there so you know you can tell that there's he sort of goes um i don't know the yellow with the blue really just captured my imagination <clears throat> and i knew nothing about the character and i continue to know nothing about the character um until he appeared on superman the animated series and then of course uh uh justice league unlimited but the color palette there's something about him I got him <clears throat> during the first couple waves and really just was enamored by the look of him. The, the blue really captured it and the yellow really set it off. And one of my favorite, all-time favorite superpower characters along with Firestorm. Um, and my love for Dr. Fate has continued. And I talked about him when we did the Mezco 112. And so now we have the uh, <clears throat> Injustice video game version of him here. Um, and the detail, okay, so I have to separate this out a little bit because my love of the character does not extend to the love of the figure, but there are reasons. Um, so let me start with the sculpting. So there is no doubt that this is one of the m best versions of Fate as far as uh, articulated figure goes. Um, I don't think you could get a better version um you know, the the DC Universe classics just look like this. Um, the Mezco one is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, but I think it's a different type of figure. Um, this is the retail $20, $19.99 or however much it was, $22.99. What, I don't even know what the prices are anymore at this point. Um, got it from Amazon, and uh, it, it's gorgeous. It really is. There is all uh, sculpt work. In the abdomen and, and chest area there's texture to all of the different surfaces 
Um, it's kind of like a cross stitch pattern. So you get like this very textured thing. The cape is a lighter yellow. It kind of looks white, but it's a very pale yellow when compared to the gold of the rest of his costume. Um, there is a chase version that's a little more blue, brighter blue like this versus the darker blue that's on him. <clears throat> and it's a little more yellow and gold, kind of matching this color palette better. Um, but I like this. I do. I, I think it matches the aesthetic um, of the McFarland figures so far, uh, changing them slightly to kind of update and look a little bit different. Um, the the sculpt work on the shoulder pads, the the shin guards, everything texture to the belt, um, really nice sculpt to the helmet. It's got that slope there. Looks good, right? So where are my issues? So first of all, um, the skirt kind of hinders his ability to kind of go forward or backward. Um, it's not horrible, but that's as far as he can get. It doesn't look too bad. Um, so that's not a major issue. Double knees, um, standard articulation there. Looks great in the flight pose um, like this. He does come with a flight stand, um, which I appreciate for characters that have to levitate or fly. Um, but you can see how this just doesn't sit right um, when he's extended like that. Um, and there is no real way to kind of get it. So you kind of have to trick it um, when posing. Put the leg back a little bit, turn it. Oh, no thigh cuts. I don't know why McFarlane doesn't do any thigh cuts. It's like, I think they built for them too. That's a crazy thing. I think the peg goes further down in. Anyway, um, so he looks pretty good like that, right? Um, shoulder pads don't hinder. They're on They're on the shoulder versus on the, they're on the ball of the shoulder, not the like collarbone here. Um, so they don't really hinder movement. You can kind of slip them up over the cape so you can get full extension there. Um, the cape is just standard, doesn't kind of move, doesn't really do much of anything. So my biggest gripe, um, the helmet does hinder the articulation. I know I'm, I'm looking at it down here. Um, this, the helmet does, I'm out of practice. Um, the helmet does limit the articulation. There is no alternate head. Knowing McFarland at some point down the line, there might be an alternate head. Um, with a different color or something like that, or just straight up an alternate head, um, like they, like they did with Wonder Woman. But, um, I think my biggest gripe, honestly, it really just destroys for me, the aesthetic and the lines of the figure, um, are the wrist joints. Um, let's see if we can get you to see them. Sort of. I'm always looking for something. Like that. Oh, this might work. Let's see so you can see there it's a giant ball on his wrist there giant giant um, and it gives him a complete 90 degree now it's not different than and I'll talk about it with her too it's not different than any of them but it makes it almost look like they're wearing a bracelet I understand the engineering piece of it and why they would do that for both of them. The problem is um, it looks weird because of the way the wrist gauntlets don't connect at all. So you've got this gap between gold and gold. You get it. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Um, you've got that gap between gold and gold and there's a giant ball on the wrist. And it, it, instead of making it a straight line, it kind of bumps it out. And I don't know, it's, it's hard to get it in a pose where that just doesn't stand out for me. You can see it from the sides. Um, his wrists kind of pop up like that. They shouldn't. Your wrist doesn't, at least mine doesn't, doesn't go that far back. My thumb can't touch my forearm. Um, there, are, there are better ways. I don't have anything out that's a better version other companies do better versions of the wrist um try and see yeah i can't she fell back there um so i was that was my only disappointment but it was like glaring it was like a neon sign 
I opened it up, I saw them, and it just kind of, for me, it kind of ruined the figure a little bit. I almost, almost wish that this was inside this piece right here. And I think aesthetically, the lines of it would look a lot better. Um, and, and when you have him in a static pose, you just see that extra bump out there. Um, so it's like trying to figure out how to hide it so you don't see it as much when you're posing him. So you've got to put the wrist out like almost 90 degrees to really hide it. Um, so that's my biggest criticism of this guy, honestly, biggest criticism. Um, and usually it's at the, at the ankles, but thankfully the, the shin guards kind of hide the ankle balls. Um, but they didn't do it, do a well job on there. So I like the figure. I like the design. I even like the colors. I think it'll look great with flash and, um, the updated green lantern and, um, whenever Hal Jordan comes out. So I think it's going to look great with those figures. Um, but again, like those things just, they don't work for me. Um, so there you go. Uh, he is available on Amazon right now. Um, I'm sure he'll be at retail at some point. He's in the injustice line or segment of it. So he'll probably be in the, um, not in the toy section, but rather in the video game collectible section for sure. Um, like I said, he was about 20 bucks. Not bad, not bad, not perfect, but not, not bad. It really good overall. I would say it kind of knocked him down from like a 95 to like an 80 for me. Um, even though I never really grade things like that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the beginning series. If you haven't, go back, check out the last 10 days worth of videos. Um, takes a look at the 80s and kind of what brought our toy of the day um, out and kind of started the whole trend for us and me in collecting, um, including our superpowers line. Um, check out casterscorner.com for a full archive of all those. Um, go to uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and follow us. We are at Casters Corner. Make sure to subscribe to our uh, podcast. And then, of course, at the channel down below. So either somewhere, it's either under this one or this one, somewhere on the screen. Hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, of course, as we say, um, the more of you subscribe, the more cool things we get to do, and then we get to share them with you. Um, and did you get the figure? Did you pick it up? Did you buy it? Put it in the comments. Tell us what you think. Um, and tell us what you think about McFarland. We got big news, right? Um, we'll talk more about that when we talk about... We've got two Suicide, suicide Squad uh, reviews coming in the next week or so. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow for another Toy of the Day here on CastersCorner.com. See you tomorrow, everybody.